Hey everybody, I am excited to bring you a art journal page. This was inspired by, well, Vicky P, which I will have a link to her channel. I'm sure you guys know who she is. I don't, can't pronounce her last name. Uh, and also, I really want to try and use up my stash. So all of those things that I shared in the two videos of craft items that I wish I didn't buy, I'm gonna use them. And whether it's once a month or every other month, whenever I feel inspired to use my stash, things that I kind of push back and have a lot of dust on them, I'm going to pull them out and create something with them. And I was inspired to use my Distress Oxide Sprays because in Vicky's uh, most recent art journal page, she used her oxide sprays and it turned out amazing. She used a different color combination. I was inspired by a prompt, an art journal prompt that was in the Finnebear Art Daily Journal. Um, it said to use stars and I thought, what kind of color combination would go good with, you know, stars? So I was looking around trying to figure out what colors to use and I came um, well, I got together peacock feathers, twisted citron, and fossilized amber, and I decided to use my, uh, gel plate, and I have the ranger set of three, and this is a long, um, smaller one. I did prep my journal page with some gesso, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water to it so that the colors kind of blend together a little bit and kind of smush really nicely onto that page. You can definitely do this with a plastic bag or just on your craft sheet. Uh, I decided to use my gel plate because although I don't regret buying it, it's something that I haven't used as much as I would like to. So I pulled it out and I am using it for this journal page. I was really intrigued to see how many people have so much stuff that they don't use. So this is a challenge to all of you watching and tag people, share this video as much as you can, uh, take a screenshot, share it on Instagram, whatever you want to do, because I really want people to start using their stash and be less um, prompted to buy new things and kind of find things in their stash that maybe is going to be your new favorite. I really enjoyed playing with the Distress Oxides uh, sprays <laughs> and I probably will be using them more. The techniques and just the outcome is just really cool how it oxidizes and yeah so it's really cool. So I hope that you guys take things out of your craft room, wherever it is, it probably shoved back somewhere where you need to search for it or, you know, whatever the case may be and make a project with it. I first, at the beginning of this video, you saw I had just played around with them on just a piece of cardstock. You don't necessarily have to, you know, maybe uh, make a full project or think of the end result like, oh, what project am I going to make with this? Just play with it, especially if it's like inks or, you know, um, sprays, uh, paste, any type of mixed media thing. Just play around with it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a full project. Stamps, just stamp them out and, you know, just whatever you want to do. Because when I just played around with the oxide inks, it really got me uh, inspired to create a art journal page. So kind of just do something with them, even pull them out, have them on your desk, and maybe you'll, uh, you'll grab them in your next, for your next project instead of grabbing something that you um, always grab. I think that's why I really want to do this too, because I feel like I always have the same things on my desk, and I really need to get out of the routine of using the same exact things all the time. Because of course they're going to be my favorites, because I use them all the time. So I'm wanting to try and find new favorites, pull things out that I haven't used or I don't use as often as I would like. And yeah, so I know I rambled all through all of the things that I did, but I'm sure 
that you guys saw what I was doing. I took a stencil and I did a ghost effect. So you're taking away some of that ink. Uh, and that stencil is from, uh, I can't find the paper or the package. Um, but I will definitely have all of the supplies listed down below, but I really encourage you guys to just pull things out of your own stash and use what you have uh, to create a project. And I'm going to use my, uh, what's that called? The makeup brush to kind of ink up the edges. Uh, Vicki did this in her video and I was like, uh, I don't know if that would go, but in the whole like the end result of the project I think it turned out really good because it just brightens up those colors um, really well all right then I am using a stencil from Tim Holtz where I don't think I've used this before so it was another thing that I pulled out that I haven't used and I'm using my paper texture paste which is one of my favorites so I'm kind of mixing old with new and that way I kind of feel like it's, you know, fun and new and fresh, but using old items that, you know, obviously are still good. You know, the stencils, obviously patterns won't ever go away. Uh, so pull out a stencil that you don't normally use or use a color combination that uh, really makes you nervous. I know this color combination makes me nervous. I normally don't use three colors it for some reason I have a hard time and so I really wanted to push myself in and get out of my comfort zone and try something that I normally wouldn't I really want to grow in my creative journey and with doing that I have to use things that I have in my craft room I'm going to definitely buy less and just find new ways to use the items that I already have uh, and challenge myself to, again, use different color combinations, um, maybe try a new technique or something uh, to get out of the box of doing the same thing over and over and over. All right, so I had a stamp, uh, a stamped butterfly and I decided to color it with some of the oxide sprays, same colors that I used. And now I'm going in with that star stencil and just adding a little bit of the peacock feathers. This is the Distress Oxide ink. And just to give it a little bit extra color and just something else, just adding more layers and layers and layers. Oh, I did forget, I did use some stamps. They are from Stampers Anonymous. It's a Tim Holtz stamp. It's called Ledger Script. They are amazing. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they're older, um, but I just got them uh, from Amazon mm, a little while ago, like a couple months back, and I just haven't used them yet. So that's another thing that I pulled out that I haven't used. Uh, and a lot of these distressed, Distress Oxide Color inks I haven't used really either. So again, I'm kind of pulling out new things to me and also things that I've had for quite some time that I just haven't used and creating a new fun art journal page. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up adding some stars to this and you could see all of that texture and interest it has on the page there. I'm just going to ink up the edges of this butterfly. Uh, I feel like it just kind of just grounds it a little bit. I didn't know whether I was going to adhere it completely to the back of the art journal page, which I normally don't do art journal pages where I seal them with uh, matte gel or anything like that. I know I get asked a lot uh, if I do and I don't seal my pages. Uh, I probably should, but I don't. <laughs> um, all right, I am going to splatter some water onto the page, and this is going to uh, ox give that oxide effect and also pick up some of that color, create a ton of texture um, without creating so much um, bulk on your project. Because with the art journal page, you definitely don't want too much um, bulky layers. You want to create textures that are kind of just 
one layer. So that's why you use inks and stamps and the uh, paper texture paste is another thing that isn't too bulky um, that you can add to create some interest to a page. All right, I used another stamp that I've had for quite some time. Uh, I think this was maybe last year's, la a last year release from Creativation. It is called Stitches. I absolutely love it and I decided to use that as well. I am using some word stickers and it says inspire curiosity. So I was inspired to use this quote to hopefully inspire you guys uh, to create a project, something that uh, intimidates you, whether it's a full project, color combination, a technique, uh, maybe you don't make cards and you've always wanted to, just create a card. Just do something that um, you've been curious about or that intimidates you just to kind of get out of that whole routine of doing the same thing, uh, using the same products, using doing the same techniques, and that way we can grow as um, creative people. I don't call myself an artist, although I might get backlash for that, uh, but I don't know what to call myself, so maybe creative person. I don't know. Anyways, that's a whole nother thing. Okay, because the oxide sprays are water-based and the paper texture paste is going to soak up some of that color, I was losing uh, the opaqueness of the paste and I really wanted it to be a little bit brighter and white on the page uh, so that it has contrast with the, all of the colors in the background. So I got these pens quite a long time ago. They are Posca pens, Posca, Posca, P-O-S-C-A on Amazon. And I decided to try and color my paste with these pens and it worked. It brightened them up, give it, gave it some contrast. And of course, you guys know my splatters. I always add splatters to 99% of my projects. Um, sometimes maybe when I shouldn't, but I love doing this and uh, I love the look of the splatters. That is going to complete this page. I hope that it inspired you to take out things in your craft room that you haven't used, that are new, still in the package, or things that you just kind of neglected uh, and either just try some new techniques, make a project, whatever the case may be. And be sure to tag me on social media and use hashtag useyourstash2020 so everybody can search for it and get inspired. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my, ch my channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.